Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about the surface area of prisms. It's a pretty short lesson, so hang on and let's get going. All right, so let's talk about uh, prisms first and the category under which prisms fall. So polyhedra, we'll start at the top. Polyhedra, poly means many. Hedra, solids with faces or faces. So polyhedra means many faces. Uh, prism is one type of polyhedra, so it's a figure that has many faces. And in this case, uh, the definition of a prism, I have two congruent parallel faces. Now I can have different types of prisms, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but the common features of the prisms are that you have two congruent and parallel faces. So I have one base here and one base here, and those are called the congruent parallel faces. The bases are the two congruent parallel faces. Then I have a set of lateral edges. So I have a lateral edge here, a lateral edge here, and a lateral edge here. And then I also say that we have base edges that correspond to the edges of the base. Uh, the edges are going to be, the lateral edges are parallel edges that connect the vertices of the parallel faces. Now the shape of the base is going to determine the name of the prism. So in this case, I have a triangular base, and that means that I have a triangular prism. If I have a hexagonal base, then it becomes a hexagonal prism. The lateral faces are going to be parallelograms, and sometimes they're going to be rectangles if the lateral edges are perpendicular to the bases. So in this case, we're going to say that uh, the base edges and the lateral edges form right angles. So I've developed uh, three uh, congruent rectangles for my lateral faces. So I have bases, base edges, lateral faces that's in green, lateral edges in blue, lateral edges connect the bases uh, with the base edges. All right, so just in terms of references, um, a lot of times we're going to talk about right prisms. All that means is that the uh, faces uh, of the prism are going to be rectangles. So you can see here I have a uh, pentagonal prism and in the faces that go around the pentagonal, pentagonal prism, all of those faces are going to be rectangles. So the book also calls those right prisms boxes. All right, so let's talk about lateral surface area of prisms. So lateral surface area uh, corresponds to the lateral face area and not the base area. That, we're going to talk about that in just a second when we talk about total surface area. But the lateral surface area corresponds just to the lateral face area. And so it is equal to the sum of the area of the lateral faces. So I have a lateral edge. I have a lateral face in green. And in this case, I have a triangular prism. So I'm going to find the area of three of these rectangles. Uh, and simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, figure out the lateral edge length. In this case, it's 20 centimeters. And the base edge length is going to be 5 centimeters. So I know the area of my one of my faces is going to be 20 times 5, or 100 square centimeters. Well, I know that I have three of those faces, and they're all congruent. So I have 3 times 20 times 5, or 300 uh, square centimeters for the lateral surface area of my, uh, or my triangular prism. So again, I have three lateral faces, uh, 20 centimeters for the lateral edge, 5 centimeters for the base edge. Uh, 3 times 20 times 50 leaves me with 300 centimeters squared. All right, so now if I were to change the base edge to 10, 10 centimeters, then each uh, lateral face becomes 20 times 10 or 200 square centimeters. Times 3 gives me 600 centimeters squared for my lateral surface area. All right, now there's something called total surface area, and total surface area encompasses the lateral surface area plus the area of the bases. Now remember, there are two bases that are parallel and congruent in a prism. So uh, all I need to do to find the total surface area is add the lateral surface area, which we call LSA, uh, to the base area, which is two times the area of the base, to get the total surface area. So in this case, I have 
a, a triangular prism. I have three lateral faces and I have two bases that are triangles. So let's take an example and see if we can solve the example. All right, so a total surface area of a triangular uh, prism. Uh, find the total surface area of a triangular prism whose lateral edges are 20 centimeters, whose bases have edge lengths of 10 centimeters. All right, so I'm gonna leave you with this problem. Let's see if you can figure it out. And then I'm gonna come back in just a minute and uh, you can pause, of course and uh, we'll figure out the problem together. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out the lateral surface area, and we already did that in the prior slide. Lateral surface area uh, is gonna be 20 times 10, which is the area of one face, times three, which gives us 600 centimeters squared. Then we're gonna find the base area, and all we need to do is to figure out the area of the triangle. Well, I know that I have uh, equal uh, distances or equal lengths for each of the base edges because I said the base edges were 10 centimeters. So I have an equal lateral triangle, which means that each of the angles is going to be 60 degrees. So I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle when I drop an altitude from one of the vertices to one of the bases. Well, because the altitude splits the base into two congruent segments, I know that each of those segments is gonna be five. And then the side opposite the 60 degree angle is gonna be uh, the length of five uh, times root three. So the 30 degree angle uh, references the length of five units, which is half the length of the base edge. And then the altitude represents five root three. So I can figure out the area of my triangle by taking one half of the base uh, length, which is 10 times five root three, which is the height, and then multiplying that by two. So one half of 10 times five root three, so one half of 10 the base, times five root three, which is the altitude, times two, and I multiply it by two because I have two bases, leaves me with 50 root three. So in the end, my total surface area is the base area, 50 root three, which is the area of two triangles, and the lateral surface area, which is the area of three of my faces. So it's 600 plus 50 root three, centimeters squared. All right, that's it for this edition of Otten Math and finding the surface area prisms. You're gonna come and join us uh, in the next edition as we figure out the lateral and total surface area of pyramids.